Hey everybody, it's Colleen again. I thought today we'd do this pink daisy. I'm gonna start it off by using this center that I already had. And what I did was brown, and I just put in a little bit of yellow in there. I took, actually just um, made a cane and I made it with yellow, wrapped it with this brown color, and then rolled it out, put four of them together, kept separate, kept joining them together, reducing them, joining them together, reducing them until it has quite a few of these centers in the middle. So um, if you really want to look at to see how the, I did this one, you can go back and look at my Forget Me Not tutorial and it'll show you exactly how to do it. But this is the flower I thought would work on and I feel like that this center is close. Ooh, hey, that's not good. Anyway, this center is close enough to what we're trying to get that I could use it. And for the pink colors, um, I'm gonna go with, this is kind of a um, fuchsia kind of color. I've got about an ounce here, an ounce of the light pink. I've got an ounce of the uh, frosted white. And then I have about a half ounce yeah, maybe a quarter of an ounce, really. This is a half ounce, yeah. This is a quarter of an ounce of the uh, hot pink color. And if you look really closely at the flower, you'll see, so I have the dark pink and it's gonna be light pink to white. But if you look closely in here, in this right before the center of the flower, it's got that deep pink in there. And so that's why I decided to go do this. Uh, I'm gonna put these together so that I can blend them. And I'll be right back to show you what that I looks like. I rolled these out. And something I wanted to make note of before I go ahead and combine everything, I'm a big fan of glitter. I don't know, I just think it makes everything look really better, sparkly, whatever. So I have this really cool collection of glitters over here and I like to add them. It doesn't take a whole lot. I'm gonna use this pink glitter and add it to all three of these. This is white glitter um, already, so it's got glitter in it, but I'm also gonna take the white and I'm gonna add some to this pink since it's so light, so I can make sure I get enough glitter. I'm gonna roll, put the glitter on those, um, then I'm gonna combine them together and I'll come back and show you what that looks like before I put it through the pasta roll. Just to give you a brief idea of what it looks like, that's the glitter on each of them before I've added them in. It's not gonna be a ton of glitter, but it just makes it a little extra sparkle um, when you go to work on items. And I just, I think that gives it a, I don't know, just a little extra pizzazz. I'm combining these, but I just wanted to give you a quick view of what it looks like before. Okay, I'll be back after it's all blended up and we'll, uh, start making those back. petals. It's probably a shade darker than I might have gone with, but I think we're just gonna make it work. Um, even though I didn't think this needed to be quite as big, um, like I said, I think we're just gonna try to work with it and see what happens. So the next thing to do is gonna be to fold it. Make it a long skinny one, and then we're gonna run it through lengthwise through the pasta machine. Um, let's go to about, I don't know, I'm gonna go to midway, maybe somewhere around five or six, and um, then we'll come back and we'll put it together. We'll uh, accordion fold it and get it to uh, come back, back together. And this is uh, rolled on a five. Right here on the end, it's got a little bit of, uh, of the light pink, which I might have wanted to cut out. But honestly, I don't know, I was looking at this, and if you look and see, Right there at the edges, on, there's some white pink there too, so I don't think that's really gonna matter. And then I'm gonna start accordion folding this all the way around and I'll come back when I have a nice little stack. Accordion fold. This is gonna be from the center. This is gonna be on the end of the petals. And we're gonna start shrinking down. First what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna just chop this a little bit because it kind of was a little bit longer on this side than on this side. So if I chop this down a little bit before I start pulling it out, that'll help even it out. Before I do too much more in shaping it, I'm gonna make it a little bit longer. So I'm gonna go ahead and at least uh, double it, the length of it in size, so I can stretch it out some more so I can start cutting some petals and considerably. I'm gonna go ahead and start shaping it like the petal. And this side with the hot pink is gonna be close toward where the 
the center of the flower is and then this is going to be the edge of the flower so we're going to want to kind of curve it into a petal shape um, I'll come back when I show you what that looks like in skinny because comparatively those are pretty thin petals so I made the petals pretty skinny but because of that we're only going to make them about an inch and a quarter long and really it's only because I have this nice handy little board here that lets me cut them to the exact size so I'm going to go and it should let me cut like 10 of them so I'm going to go and cut them and then we'll come back and we'll start attaching them to the center of our flower. What we ended up with I think it looks pretty nice let's see let me hold it up I mean yeah I guess I could have been a little bit more orange but since I already had that centerpiece um I decided to just go with it the other thing I want to say is that I'm going to have to go and put translucent in between each of these because I don't want them to stick all together so let me put the translucent and I can come back and show you that but this is basically this is basically it this is um that was pretty quick it wasn't too bad at all and I kind of really like the way the colors came out I hope y'all enjoyed this again this is uh, Colleen with Colleen's Clay Addiction and have fun claying I sure do just back for a quick second to show you what the cane looks like when I reduced it down some I think it was a lot of uh, translucent to have to put on, but by doing so, it kept the petals in pretty good shape and they uh, kept their shape pretty well. The only thing I would say that I did wrong, well, I mean, not the only thing I did wrong, but the noting thing is that extra piece that I used that didn't go all the way through that I decided to stick in there. This is the downside of it. It didn't have the hot pink on the very end of it. Now, it did actually have the hot pink on part of it, see, because this one, when I reduced it even further, that one came out fine. So, and so, well, no, that one didn't. So half of it had it, half of it didn't have it. So it's just something to keep in mind, whether you decide that you want to do that or not. Anyway, thanks again. Hope you enjoy making these flowers.